Hey everyone, welcome back again. And in the previous video, we uh, paused our video from here, and now I'm starting this from uh, from this step, right? And I'm not skipping any of the steps. If I am doing some mistakes, I am also not uh, cutting this out because people learn a lot from these uh, mistakes, right? And here we need to put our uh, FTP credentials detail, right? So I'm logging in my server and. Uh, just go to your subdomains and here I'm going to create a new domain where I will push my code here, right? And uh, some of the information I'm hiding this for the security purposes, right? So just to create the domain uh, subdomain here, so I'm creating a dev subdomain, dev, right? And click on this uh, create subdomain. And yes, it will create this in a moment and uh, and yes, it's created and uh, just go here, copy this out and open this in the new tab and it will show that it's a uh, 403 forbidden and here just to uh, go back and uh, you need to uh, just open the file manager and in the file manager, we have a dev directory which uh, correspond to this uh, dev dot guest of services dot uk, right? So here I'm opening this uh, in the file manager. I want to show you that it's an empty directory and uh, how you can how our um, uh, changes will be reflected here. Okay, and uh, it's uh, taking a little bit time, and uh, I'm not pausing this video because I don't want to uh, shoot this as uh, scripted videos. Okay, and. Uh, and before this, so uh, just click on this uh, services, and here I have uh, my FTP details. In your case, if you are not finding the FTP details, you need to search this out here, and you will find the FTP details. So everyone, uh, every uh, cPanel service is different, so you can search this in your own one, right? So here, let me copy this out, and later I will change this. Okay, and uh, just go back, uh, and uh, here. You need to put your server name, right? I'm pushing my server name and then go back again and uh, type the copy the username, right? Here I copied this username and pasted this out. And then you need to go back and here you need to uh, view your password. And I will change this uh, after a few moments. Okay, I pasted this password and uh, then everything is okay. And here we need one more. Uh, one more uh, attribute right so you need to type uh, server directory and then you need to specify the server directory so just to go here let me review it that my file manager is not open yet so i'm refreshing it out and it will uh, open uh, my this server details and uh, let's go to this public html and yes it's contain a dev directory right so in the public html i have a dev directory so how i'm specifying it so just to go here and make sure to write this slash before starting uh, your path right so public uh, html and then slash dev and then you need to add oops uh, html slash dev and then you need to add this slash at the last of this so uh, this path right and now our path is correct and I'm clicking on this start commit, right? And yes, it's uh, committed and here this is empty directory, right? So now I'm going to push my code, right? So first I'm going to check that. Let's click on this actions and here it's creating the YAML file and uh, wait for a moment. It's still displaying now and uh, it's in the process and yes it's now displaying the green flags which means that uh, it's showing that one pushed by Hadi Niazi right and it's uh, now successfully deployed on the website right that's why it's appearing the uh, green flag otherwise in your case if uh, something went wrong it will uh, display a red with the cross right so just go here refresh it out and yes we have two files the FTP deployment and the index HTML file which we uploaded uh, uh, type welcome to career development lab and if I go here and refresh this out 
and yes it's now displaying that welcome to the career development lab so it's contained the index.html file and this one is a json file is to track our changes right if we are doing anything uh, new on this file so it will be automatically pulled here right so if i go here and let me check the video size no it's not being bigger and here just go to the code and in the code i'm going to make some changes and it will be instantly reflected automatically on this server so just go here edit this file and um, instructor is Daya Niazi right and let me add this in the poll tag right h1 and here you need to close this out let me type it correctly okay paste this out and just to click on this commit changes and it will update our file right and instantly just click on this github action and yes it's now updating this out and later it will uh, show us a message that it's updated on the server so let's take eye on this one it's not and yes it's now started the processing it's uh, now processing and yes it's successfully deployed right so let's go here and give it a refresh and it will show the updated file right and yes instructor is uh, uh, Hadayat Yazi. So in, in this way we can push our code on the github uh, github to the our server right so hope you can understand that how you can do this simply by doing this out right so you need to do simple create a github repository right and then you need to create a simple yaml file and in the yaml file you need to add a code with the configuration of your branch and your ftp details and then you need to uh, save this out and this will be automatically visible on your domain right so in the next video i'm going to uh, walk through this uh, through the by uh, doing the changes through the command line and i'm going to uh, deploy this uh, on uh, going to deploy on this directory through the command line and these changes will be reflected here right so next video uh, is going very amazing right because in this way we can we hard coded this out so you can deploy your any of the application if you are working on the node.js so you can push your code on this github repository and it will be automatically deployed right and in the next video i'm going to make this for the specific uh, uh, projects like laravel or php right so stay tuned and i will meet you in the next one and if you like this video don't forget to hit like and share button Bye bye